And all we see is smoke, bro. And people are lighting the fucking, the fences on fire. People um, apparently flipped the quad bike, tried to light it on fire, bro. People lit portaloos on fire. It was crazy, man. It was one stockies, and she was like, I know you. And I was like, yo, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she was like, nah, I follow you like all the time. And I was like, shit. Oh, that's cool. And you're thinking like Instagram. So she was like, yeah, legit, I follow you on Instagram. And she pulled up my Instagram. I was like, shit, you do. And we took a photo and then she was like, can I have a signature? And I was like, my first signature. A signature? Who does signatures anymore? Yeah, everyone's like photos these days. I, I ain't got a pen. She was like, I got one. I was like, who has a pen? <laughs> she was waiting she for it. Yeah. I was like, I, I bet. And she was like, yeah, sign here. And it was a titty. So it was a titty signature. And then it was weird, man, because like after that, it was just like I kept getting tagged in like Instagram stories. And it was her, like, you know, like her tagging me in these fucking photos. But I couldn't figure out where she was. She was taking photos of you. She was videos of me, man. Oh, videos okay. of me playing. But I couldn't figure out where she was. Like she'd video me and I'd be like, oh yeah, sweet, sweet. I'm looking around, I'm like, fuck, I can't see this chick. Like, where the fuck is she? And it wasn't until like well, someone commented on the fact that she was videoing me behind like these little bushes. That's so <laughs> creepy. Like, this is creepy. Fuck, I didn't realize that she was like following me every, like legit every set, man. I'd be playing like the Met and then I'd go to Burn Lane. And she'd be the Met and the Burn Lane. And then, like, <laughs> bro, it was whack, man, it was whack. I didn't see her a lot this weekend, though. No. Maybe she got locked up. Free my girl, free my girl. That's <laughs> yeah, a restraining order. I hope you washed your titty too. That signature <laughs> better not be on there, man. <laughs> Have she spoken to you since she, that signature? Uh, she said we should catch up, and I was like, Oh, yeah, she wants to do it. Come see you in prison. <laughs> <laughs> How was the uh, your shot? Congrats, by the way, for winning. Thank you, thank you. I knew you won it before you won it. Because you messaged yeah. me, yeah. you're like, I hit him up, I'm like, You better get ready. Because ev all the judges that I spoke to were like, Jack. I'm that guy who's like, if someone says I don't want to win, I'll be like, nah, 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 just wait, just wait for the results. But who else had mosh pits in the silent disco? Yeah, right. We're in the crowd, we heard Sandstorm, we're like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, building up. And we open up the mosh pit, and then we hear fucking like a bitch come in. <laughs> and then I just look around, everyone's like, what the fuck? And then just fucking mosh pits, fucking days. And those are the silent disco. Yeah, yeah, silent disco as well. And you could hear people scream through your headphones. Yeah. Like, I actually lost my USBs. So I played my original set at four o'clock and then just before the final, when they're about to call out who's gonna play, but I'm like this, and I lost my black USB case. And I actually, when I finished my set, I put the USB, one USB in my pocket. So luckily I had put that USB in my pocket and I used that for the final. I still haven't got the case back, but they taking all your edits. <laughs> old stuff, old stuff. <laughs> that, they pay you back for the trip to Canada. That's it, that's it. You keep the USB. Yeah. It's all right. Was your missus pissed off she didn't get to go? Because she's like, oh yeah, I'm going with him. I'm like, you're pregnant, you can't go. She's like, when is it? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I got a call from um, your shop. And they said like, oh, Chasing Summer wants you to play. And at this year's one, I said, oh, when's that? And they're like, oh, like next week, or like two weeks. <laughs> on the phone like, uh, <laughs> of course I said yes. Yeah, of course. Like, oh fuck, like fuck yeah. And like, how are you? And he's like, oh cool man. Because they reckon they never had that like happen straight away. Yeah, uh, everyone that I've known, it's been the next year that they've gone. Yeah. You would think a big fest like that, they're pretty much locked out. Especially like a week. How did someone? Like, someone must have pulled out or something, eh? You would have thought they would have had last year's contestant or something going there. And you would think a big festival. How do you have an empty slot a week before the festival? Maybe they just kicked you off just the local. Good, bro. That's that's it. Uh, He's that good. He's just that good. Just yeah. press play. That's it. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Rhythm and Vines. It was the year of 2015, I think it was. And normally the campsites all like are just divided by some imaginary line. But they went and fucking put fences up. And then they 
were like, nah, you can't go into other campsites. What they also did was they overbooked campsites. So they shifted other like, people who paid for one campsite had to go shift to another and then they couldn't visit their friends in the other campsite. They used to have like a two day festival at the campsite before Venom and Vines had their three day festival. So it was just a five day bender. And like on the last day of the actual Venom and Vines um, like festival, all we hear from the campsite is just fucking ah, screaming. And then the fence is torn down bro. And people from other campsites are running into our campsite and then running back and it's just back and forth running and screaming bro. People throwing, yeah, people throwing full cans of beers and shit. We like loaded up our fucking sleeping bags and tried to take them into like where they were kicking us out. But the, where they were kicking us out was like a no drinking area. Like we weren't allowed alcohol there unless we had bought it from that sort of area. So the police kicked us out. The what? The police? The, the bullies. <laughs> the bullies. The bullies kicked us out. The police. The police kicked us out. <laughs> And um, we were moving down, and then I just got too excited, man. I ended up grabbing all the cans in my sleeping bag and just biffing them. <laughs> I stopped because um, I, we were walking, and some chick like got smoked with this can. I like, hit it in the head, and it stopped to the head? ground. I didn't know who she was. No, but it was your can. No, no, no. Someone else. It was like nah, one we're, of those, we're filming. It no, was not his no, can. No, it wasn't my can. But like, if you're from New Zealand and you know and you know what a 440 can is? She got cleaned out with one of those big fucking lion reds, fucking 440 cans, man. And then she got up and we tried to carry her away and she got dusted again by another can, man. Surely someone was aiming at her, <laughs> Bro, it twice? She had the worst luck, man. We're like, you dying, we leaving you behind. You, you get out of here before we get dusted. We left and then all we see is smoke, bro. And people are lighting the fucking, the fences on fire. People um, apparently flipped the quad bike, tried to light it on fire, bro. People lit portaloos on fire. It was crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs>